What's up, Sensi friends? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. This is Dazzling Sense with Chris, and I'm Chris, your independent Sensi consultant. So today I'm going to go through what I have been warming recently. Um, you know, it's been about a couple weeks now, I think. I don't really keep track of like when I, from video to video. So we're just going to go with a few weeks. So let's get started. There is going to be very little, and I mean very little vendor wax here, and I'll just save it for the end. I think there's like three or four things. There's really not a lot. Okay, so let's just start with this. Okay, so we've got My Wish. Now, <clears throat> I had purchased another bar of this because I don't feel it had a fair shake when I warmed it the first time because I had done it in my living room, and I felt it was very light, and I said, well... I still want to know what it smells like. So I do have this going to my bedroom right now. And it's quite strong in the bedroom. Everything goes really well in my bedroom. Um, it's nice. Um, I don't hate it. It's pleasant. I like it. It's very sweet. Very marshmallowy. Um, and there is like a, a fruit in there. Some type of fruit. I don't have the scent notes on this handy. Um... But there is something there that gives it a little sweetness outside of the outside of the marshmallow. But it's super marshmallowy. Like I said, it was good. It was great. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. There's plenty of other scents that you know have that really nice, yummy marshmallowy feel to it, and like the Pinkberry Fluff, which I absolutely love. So we'll just. I don't see a need to, you know, buy that as well. All right, so, okay. This one's interesting because and this one I'm surprised by a little bit. Surprised and disappointed. But it's, here comes the sunflowers. Um, disappointed because I've got two bars going right now of Here Comes the Sunflowers. Um, it's it's in every warmer. My living room, my nail studio area, my kitchen. It's not in the bedroom or the bathroom or in here, but it's in all those other areas. And guys, I really don't smell it. And that's, this is two, it's two full bars. Now I know <clears throat> I do have sinus problems. And I have a very bad deviated septum, but I don't have a problem smelling, per se. Um, maybe some people smell better than I do, but I could certainly smell my wax. I can't smell this. It's super, super light. And I'm disappointed because, see in here, I, I, just, I just, I like it. And it's just a really nice floral. And I want I want to find that floral that's doesn't blow me out of the house, but just has that lingering softness, delicateness to it in the air that just makes the house smell pretty. That's what I was hoping this would do. Because I had warmed a bar before, but I think I did it in my bathroom or maybe my bedroom. So, and I really want, I really felt the need. I said, I just wanted to smell just real pretty, like fresh flowers and, and yeah, I didn't get it. So I'm a little disappointed with, here comes the sunflowers. So I don't, I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I finished this bar. I had three cubes left, Luna. Um, I put it in the warmer in here. Luna's nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Luna. Um, I don't hate it. Um, I expected a lot more from this bar, and I remember when I warmed it the last time, I warmed it, I believe it was my bedroom. There was a note in there I just didn't care for. So I had three cubes left, and I wanted to just finish off this bar so I could be done with it. But yeah, I'm not a Luna fan. I know a lot of people are, um, and I can see why. It's a very pretty scent. It's a floral, perfumey scent. I could see why people are drawn to it, but there's just a note in there that I don't care for. 
Okay, and here's another one I don't really care for. I don't hate it. And a lot of everybody, a lot of people love this one. And that's Amazon Rain. Um, I had four cubes left of this. And um, I thought, well, I'll just put it in the bathroom. Actually, did I have five cubes? I had five cubes left. So I put it in my bathroom. And it's okay. I'm not crazy about Amazon Rain. It's got like a funky note in there that I don't care for. I think it's supposed to be like melons. I don't smell melon. I just smell a funkiness to it. I just, not a fan. <clears throat> but I wanted to finish that bar. I can't stand to have bars that are like partially used. It drives me crazy. But you know, you can't always use a full bar. Um, I'm just looking over here because I'm looking at empty or half, half and partially used wax clams and yeah, it bugs me it, it does it bugs me so I wanted to try to I wanted to push some of that stuff out okay from our brick collection this year um, Beach Daisy now I did warm and I'm almost done with Beach Daisy um, this one's sad this is like here comes the sunflowers it's just a real pretty floral not a perfumey floral, just a nice floral scent. There's like, smells like there might be like some apple or something in this one. It's just, it's very pretty. On cold, it's really pretty, but it is so super light. And I thought maybe, because I had already warmed it before, I thought maybe if, you know, being that it sat for another, what, maybe about a month, I thought maybe it would be a little bit stronger. <clears throat> it wasn't, um, and I did go heavy on my cubes, so when I had cut them, yeah, so a little disappointed. Beach Daisy won't make it to my club. Okay. Oh, and then I did one of my all-time favorites, Blue Grotto. I love Blue Grotto. Um... Yes, it's a fruity, uh, fruity kind of barn. Man, this one is, that's a juicy one. But it's, there's something different about it. It just, it's just a delightful smell. It's a little bit of citrus there. I, I do, I, I really, really, really like Blue Grotto. And I had done this one in my bathroom and it was lovely. It was, it was lovely. Lovely bar. And so Blue Grotto is something <clears throat> that I would put in my club, but I do have the brick and it's available in the brick in the, um, the Sensi Club. So I don't know. I'm going to keep my eye on it to see if it start, if it looks like it's going to disappear. Um, and then I would get another brick. But for now, it's not in my club, but it's something that I want in my club. Okay, so... <laughs> This was my mistake. So I was watching videos and why well, can't I remember her name? Ashley. I was watching her video. And she was talking about magnolia. Is it magnolia linen or magnolia cotton? I can't remember. And I really thought I had that bar. I thought I had it. I could have swore I had it. Maybe I did have it last year and I used it. <clears throat> and she was talking about how it's a really nice cleaning scent when you're cleaning. And I thought, okay, because I think I watched her video was a Saturday. And I always clean the house on Sundays. And I thought, okay, I'm going to warm that one when I'm cleaning. I didn't have it. One I did have was Sparkling Magnolia. And it was okay. Again, it was a little light. So I was disappointed. I'm going to get to some stuff I like. You know, you know how my warming things always go. I was like, always like feeling like negative, negative, but you know, stuff happens. I'm going to try to find one I like. Oh, here we go. I did red, white, and berry pie. I really liked it a lot. It was good. Oh, it just smells so good. Mm. 
the only there's like it's got it's it's almost has a cherry almond to it. Very heavy on the cherry for me. I smell a lot of cherry. I love cherry. I absolutely love cherry. There's something about the smell of cherry. So this one here, loved it. It's not doesn't. It's not a marathon runner. Put it that way. Okay. It was pretty much. Oh, I got about the day out of it. I think I put it in like in the morning and by evening time it was gone. So that's sad. But I do like it. If this was still available, I would probably club that. Because I used it in my kitchen. So if I started it in the morning when I woke up, like it would be something I have to do on the weekend. Because if I'm not home, I'm, not, I'm certainly not going to you know, melt something like that if I'm not going to be around. And I keep my warmers on 24-7. I never shut them off. So, for me, I wouldn't be around long enough to enjoy it. But on the weekend, yeah, sure, that'd be, that'd be great. I put it in the morning. By nighttime, I take it out and put something else in. All right. Here we go with Pacific Mist. And I think I did, oh, sorry. I think I did two bars of Pacific Mist. I did. I do like Pacific Mist. I like it very much. This was the scent of the month for June. And it is. It's beautiful. It's it's a unique scent. Um, very different. I don't know if this is something I will club or not. I suppose I have a little bit of time before I have to make that decision if I'm going to club it. It's, it's pretty, but... And I like it. I like it just fine. But I'm trying to be very mindful of what I'm going to throw in my club going forward. Um, and I don't know if for me this is something that I'm going to have to have. I don't feel like, oh my God, I have to have this in my life all the time. I like it. It's great. It smells beautiful. But there's other things that I like a whole lot better. So... Yeah, that's so. I did two bars of Pacific Mist. Okay, then I also did Strawberry Lemon Cake. I think this was the scent of the month for, what was it, March or? I can't remember. I think it been March or April. I don't remember. So, Strawberry Lemon Cake. Very nice. I didn't get a whole lot of lemon. I got more of a strawberry shortcake. Like, I smelled strawberries, whipped cream, and, like, the little, um, like, the angel food cake that goes with it. It's nice. I like this. Again, this was sad because it didn't last that long. I find that with bakery scents, at least with Scentsy anyway, I haven't, ex haven't tried much of the bakery with anybody else yet. But any bakery that I've had with Scentsy seems to only, I only, you only get the day out of it. And then it just kind of dies. Um, like I said, but which is fine. Because if it's in my kitchen, that's okay. I'll put it in the morning and, and enjoy it for the day while I'm home. And I did like strawberry and lemon cake. Um, which is surprising because Generally, I don't care for Scentsy Strawberry. Um, like the sugared strawberries on cold smells wonderful. Anything that I've really warmed with um, strawberry in it, it just kind of had like an artificial uh, smell to it. This didn't, I, maybe because it was more of a bakery mixed with the whipped cream and stuff, I didn't get that with this one. But yeah, strawberry lemon cake was good. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty one. Wildflower cotton. I do like this a lot. Now, what I need to do, because I love sandalwood tangerine, and I'm just looking to see if I have a bar close by. And I don't see one close by me. 
done. Sandalwood tangerine and wildflower cotton. They're almost the same bar. I would say wildflower cotton has just a smidge, a smidge of the laundry scent in it, but not a lot at all. You, I, for in here, I smell floral. I smell, um, I, I smell sandalwood in here. I don't know if there is sandalwood in, in wildflower cotton or not, but maybe I'm just getting confused because it smells so much like sandalwood tangerine. It really does. Um, and I like them both. So what I want to do is I kind of want to sniff them side by side and maybe even warm them on the same day, like one in my living room and then in my, see my bedroom and just go back and forth just to see which one am I enjoying more. Uh, cause I, I'm not going to club both these. They're too much alike to do both of them. So I wanted to borrow wildflower cotton and I thought I wanted two bars of this. I'm not sure. Well, maybe not. Okay. Oh, jeez. This one, you guys. Tahitian Twilight. Woo! It's not coming up. Anyway. This bar for the month of July, the scent of the month, is stunning. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is just... Ooh. This is so, so pretty. Yep. Um, tad bit on the light side. I would say, like, you know, if we had light, medium, and strong, it's, it's almost hitting that medium mark as far as the throw of the scent. Um, how did it last? I did this in my bedroom. I got about two and a half days before the scent started to fall off. Yeah, I'd go about two and a half days. It's pretty. This one's pretty. I will probably club this for a little while anyway, you know, or I'll buy a six pack. And, you know, do it like that. Because, again, the club is getting out of control. I don't want a $400 club. That's insane to me. Okay, lilacs and violets. I do love this one. It's, for me, straight up lilac. And I love lilacs. Gotta go light. It's a strong one. Um... I did do the whole bar, and it was a bit strong. I did it out in my living area. So, yeah, this one you got to go a little bit on the light, you know, cut back on the amount of cubes and build up. If you feel like, oh, geez, you know, I want a little bit stronger, then add a little bit more. But I would start light on lilacs and violets. It's very strong, very authentic to a lilac. So if you've ever been around lilacs and you or you walk past and the, you the breeze catches them and you get that it's just a beautiful smell there's no mistaking the smell of a lilac that's one flower lilacs rose and the tiger lilies like the stargazer lilies they're distinct they have a distinctive smell and this smells just like a lilac bush it's beautiful beautiful okay then i did Sunkissed citrus, which was very nice. Um, I prefer the sparkling yellow or um, squeeze the day over sunkissed citrus, but I like this. I like this just fine. This has more of the orange in it, um, and I think I prefer the lemon more than the orange. But sun sunkissed citrus. I'm trying to think where I put this and how long it lasted. It was a good performer. It was a medium performer. Um, 
maybe a day and a half I got from it. So it wasn't bad. All right. Okay, so here is Plum and White Woods. Now, I did warm this prior, and I wanted to give this one another chance as well because I think where I had it, it wasn't where I can give it a fair... Um, uh, whether I liked it or not, um, for myself anyway. My nose is starting to itch now. Um, this is very pretty. It really is. I took the rest of it, um, and I warmed it in the bedroom. And it was nice. Very nice. The only issue, again, with this one is it's light. I don't want... What am I trying to say? I don't want to struggle to smell something. I want to be able to instantly instantly walk into the room and and smell it. I want to know it's there. I want it to be have a presence in the room. So I feel like this one's very light. And how many light bar and it works fine in my bedroom because for what I don't know, I don't know if it's because the bedroom's, you know, the size or the the airflow. I don't know. It works fine in the bedroom even though it's light, but it was, I could smell it. Now, how many scents do I want? You know, if it's something I want to keep around, then I want it to be consistent and I want it to work all the time. I don't want it to be like, oh, well, that's light one, but I'll use it anyway. No, I want it to, I want them all to be strong or a good performer. And Plum and White Woods, as beautiful it is, it is. It's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent here. But it's just, it's not strong enough for me. It just isn't. Okay, what do I got here? Woo. Oh, okay. This one was a surprise to me. The Southern Sweet Tea. Now... This is, um, it's in the Bring Back My Bar. I normally don't care for this type of scent. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I did do this in my kitchen area. Uh, and it was good. Which, I was shocked because I thought it was going to be kind of like, you know, on the lighters. And it wasn't. It wasn't. It, um, it has a little peach in it. And usually that can go bad. Like, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes peach gets like a funky smell like feet. At least that's what I think. Yeah. Some about peach. And I'm pretty sure this has peach in it. But it was good. I like Southern Sweet Tea. Will I club it? No. But I did. I liked it. I used the whole, you know, the bar and I was happy with it. It was a nice scent. If you like tea... Tea sense, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. I do love this one. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love it, and I'm going to club it. And that is Sugar Blossom. It's such a beautiful smell. Oh. Definitely not cake or bakery. This is like a beautiful floral perfume mm. it's beautiful I like sugar blossom sugar blossoms really nice this will go in my club I don't remember where I warmed it but I liked it like this would be a beautiful perfume you know for summer that nice floral yeah I would definitely Wear this as a perfume or body lotion. It's nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. So, before the 30th, I thought, all right, let me warm the bar. Let me just see. I didn't even do I did four cubes. I did it in this room here just to be safe. Ghostly greetings. Yeah, no. Mm, I can't do this bar. Oh. This bar 
is very dark. It's very, um, yeah, I, I think there's bourbon and the scent was, it's almost musty to me. It smells musty. It smells like, it smells like antiques, you know, it smells very old in, in, yeah, like if you went to an antique store and they had a lot of like old antique furniture, like mahogany woods and it smells like an antique shop. That musty smell. Yeah, ghostly greens, not for me, won't club it. And I'm sorry that I actually have a few bars back there of it that I had picked up in a flash sale thinking, oh, you know, sometimes the names kind of make you think, oh, ghostly greetings. That sounds, you know, yeah, no, and not for me. Okay. Oh, and I know I have this one else. Let me find. Okay. So, oh, here's another strawberry and lemon cake. I must have did it twice. Okay. All right. I have these I did together. Mint Fields and Watermelon Patch. Now, the two of these together were really good. Um, watermelon Patch is... Love the smell of watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon? So good. But it's not like the fruit watermelon. It's the candy watermelon, like Jolly Rancher. So it's that artificial watermelon, which I still love the smell of the artificial watermelon too. So I did watermelon patch and mint fields together because I wanted to get like a minty watermelon and it was really good. I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Um, mint fields. If you've been watching me, you know I don't like mint. I don't like the... I don't like that toothpaste. Like, oh, yeah, I don't like it. It's me. I don't mind certain things. I don't mind mint. Like, I know I like um, hogging a mug with some of the uh, perfectly peppermint in it because it just smells like a uh, mint mocha latte drink. So that's different, but generally I don't care for mint. Like, yeah, uh, what was that one? Oh, there was one of them. I was like, I just, yeah, like just breathe. I don't like just breathe. It's too like, yeah, I just don't like it. But this mint fields is different. And I'll tell you why it's different. This is like fresh mint leaves. And if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever smelled fresh mint like it comes on a little bush thing and you pick it off and you can actually put it in your mouth and chew on it and it freshens your breath. This smells exactly like it was picked from the bush or the plant. I don't know what it is, a bush, a plant, but so good. And I don't know what to do. I think what I'm going to do, I think, I don't know if this is in my club or not. I may have bought another bar. But I wouldn't mind actually having another bar of it just on hand because it's nice to mix with fruit. Because I don't care for fruity, other than citrus, I don't care for like the fruit stuff. But mint mixed with the fruit, mm, like this watermelon patch, it was nice. It was really, really nice. The two of them together, loved it. Yeah, they go well together. They really, really do. So, I don't know. I think I did pick up. I did. I picked up two extra bars of this. Um, so, I got to see if I have more mint. Because I do want, I just, I kind of wanted to have it just around because I do like it, not enough to put it in my club, but I thought it'd be nice to have a couple extra bars just to, you know, have on hand for something different. 
that and I want to see if I got the mint. If not, I'll have to maybe grab another bar or two of the mint just to keep on hand for a little bit. Oh, these are over here. I don't know what I'm doing. That's another video. Okay. A wink and a smile. I wasn't crazy about this. For me, I don't know. I can't get there. There we go. For me, it was super light. Yeah, it didn't do anything for me. And, ooh, look at all that oil in there. Is that? Um, it didn't do anything for me. So, yeah. I'm not, uh, not a fan. I think, like I said, I think I got this in a collection or something. In fact, I think I got another one from that last flash sale. So, whatever. Okay. Oh, this one here. This is a disappointment to me. This is kind of what I wanted um, Here Come the Sunflowers to be. That's Fresh Cut Daisies. And it's exactly what it is. It's just fresh cut flowers. Daisies, I guess. I love it. I love it. And I can't get it. I don't know when this was, I don't know if this was some uh, scent of the month at one time. I don't know if it was ever in the catalog because I haven't been around long enough. I want this to come back so bad. And this was in one of the flash sale um, bundle box things that I bought. And I'm mad because I warmed it in my bedroom because I was afraid if I put it out in the, because I liked it on cold. And I thought, oh, where do I want to put this? Because I really want to be able to enjoy it. And I'm going to be really mad if I put it in my living room and I can't smell it. So I put it in the bedroom and it was strong. And I certainly could have used this in the big room. It's just floral. And it's a sweeter floral. I don't know what scent notes are in here, but you can smell a ever so slight green to it. Not much. Just enough to give it that realness. You know, that authentic, like you do have really fresh caught daisies in the house. It is so pretty, you guys. I mean pretty. It almost has like an undernote of like a lemon, but not like super um, tart lemon like ooh. it's just soft it's fresh and it's pretty and I want this bar and I'm going to be looking for it every time there's a vote and I don't know I'll just sit there and vote all day because Lisa Roberry if you watch her she showed you the trick how to do more how to vote more than once a day Does everybody know that trick? You just go on the Sensi website and just put zip codes in, random zip codes, and just go on all kinds, just go on all kinds of consultants' websites and vote under them. Okay, here's Ruby Nectarine. I know this is a fan favorite. Um, looks okay. Again, I think it's me. I'm not a fruit person. It smells good. Um, I like fruit as part of a blend. I don't want just all the fruit. Don't give me, you know, a bowl of berries. I want it to be part of a blend. It's very nice. Wow. I'm really liking that in here. I mean, like I said, I could appreciate the smell of fruit, you know, but so I did warm that. Uh, this one here. Oh, this was from the mix it collection and it's rainfall and lush greens. Yeah. I didn't care for this. I did this in my bedroom. Um, yeah, this wasn't good for me. It wasn't one of my favorites. Um, 
it wasn't what I expected it to be. I thought it would have been more aquatic. And when it first started warming, there was a hint of a mint in there. And I don't know what that would be coming from. Um, and then as it wore on, that kind of faded out. And Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I don't know. It just... It was just kind of blah. It was almost it was almost a little bit of a chemical scent to it. I could almost still smell the chemical to, scent there. Like latex or something. Yeah, I just, I didn't care for it. Yeah, it smells like latex to me. Okay, this one here. Lion King in the jungle. Rawr. Anyway. Did you guys see that Simba came out as part of the Buddy Bonanza? Did you see Pumbaa came out? But I bought Pumbaa a while back in that crazy flash sale when the buddies were super cheap. Same thing with Stitch and Angel. And I think it's a shame that they're selling them, but I picked them up in a flash sale. Anyway, I did grab Simba. Um funny. I, I gotta love the Lion King. My grandson, when he was about, I think he was about two, he loved the Lion King. Oh my God. When I would have him, we would, he, we would watch the, well not, I mean, I didn't watch it all day. He did. I watched it for a little bit and I, you know, I had to get, got enough. Um, all day long. And it was so cute because he had his little Simba stuffed animal. And in the beginning, you know, when um, all the animals were coming to the uh, presentation ceremony from, you know, Mustafa was going to, and the monkey, Rafiki, he'd be rocking around with the holding Simba up. And, oh, my God, it was just the cutest thing. So I bought Simba in the Buddy Bonanza. So he's coming. He could sit with Pumbaa. I wish uh, Timon was offered. Anyway, I was supposed to talk about wax bars. See, I'm getting lost here in my in my memories and thoughts. All right. Very nice. I really liked it. The only issue I had with it is we've got um, Sunburst Bamboo. Or bamboo Sunburst. At least I do. That's just a retired scent. Um... the brick cactus water and guys what is wrong with me we got that other cactus water one we got the banana leaf and bamboo um they're all very similar i like them though so it was fine so i do like this bar it's not available i picked this up in the flash sale because i wanted to try it and it is it's really nice there's a lot of nice them Pretty aquatic green notes. This one's good. So if you ever see it and you like those aquatic-y green type notes, give it a try. Okay. Oh, speaking of aquatic, there's the Sunburst Bamboo. I do like this one. This one's nice. This one is more... There is a difference. Isn't that funny? This is like, this one's like lighter to me. Like the scent is a little sweeter. Yeah, this one's like sweeter. The Sunburst Bamboo. And this one's more green, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I did this one too. I like to use scents like that in the bathroom. Ooh, they work good in the bathrooms, you know, those aquatic type scents um so I did I warmed both those went in the bathroom actually um so did this one Mediterranean Spa this is a beautiful scent this really is oh now it is it does lean a little masculine but not super masculine just a little bit it's pretty, you know, and it's even prettier now. And now, because I did a bad thing, 
I did a little stock up on it. So I do have some bars. And it was delivered in a couple of my clubs. I removed those from my club. And I, yeah, I kind of regret it now. But I do, I got about six or seven bars of it. And the reason I did that was because, my, again, my mindset was, you know, you've got this, and I've got the glacier water in my club. I've got, there's always a scent that's going to be reminiscent of another scent. And so there's always going to be something to replace it. And I thought, do I need all these bars? So I have a little back stock on Mediterranean Spa. It'll last a while because I have a lot of wax. So it'll always be there. So I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not. But that's Mediterranean Spa. If you ever see it and you like those aquatic, it's aquatic. I think there's a little bergamot in here maybe. Because I do pick up a lemon in here. Not a lot. Just It's just a hint. It's really nice. It is. And it does have that type of a spa feel to it. It's good. It's a really good bar. Okay, what else do I got in here? Oh, this was a bar because I had like three cubes left. I says, let me finish it off. Uh, cinnamon buttercream. Hello. There we go. I like cinnamon buttercream. I love cinnamon. You could put cinnamon in anything for me and I'm going to like it. I love cinnamon. Oh, and I do like cinnamon buttercream a lot. This is one that I would put in my club. I haven't yet because it's been in the catalog. So I'm going to watch what happens when <clears throat> we get that sneak peek. Because when the consultants that go to um, Sensi Family Reunion, and I'm not going, it's a lot of money. I thought, you know what? Because it wasn't far from me, and I could drive to, I think it's South Carolina. So, but I thought the hotel, and if I need a vacation, and to me, that's not a vacation. I'm going to be busy doing all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, the consultants will come back, and they have, they'll have the catalog. So, in fact, my grandson's grandmother, his, you know, I explained that before, she's my. I joined under her. So as soon as she comes back, I'm going to be hitting her up. I'm going to say, look at, you better give me that catalog so I can look at it. Photocopy it or something because I need to see what scents are coming back so that I can cut my club. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon buttercream. It's cinnamon and buttercream. And it throws well. My kitchen smelled amazing. It just smelled like yummy cinnamon. You could probably mix this with stuff too. Oh. Oh, how would this, how would this smell if you mix it in with like one of the coffees, like perk me up or something? I'm going to try that. Yeah. I like me, like me a good coffee. Okay. This one here. Jammy time. And the reason I had warmed jammy time was because... I had fuzzy blanket and I wanted to see the difference. Now, mm, fuzzy blanket's good. Fuzzy blanket is sweeter than jammy time. Jammy time is a little bit more heavy on the lavender in here and little bit of laundry. I like them both. So I warmed this and then I made a decision to buy more bars of fuzzy blanket. So I'm going to actually do a monthly club. What's today? Today's the 28th of June. So maybe tomorrow night I'll sit down and, you know, get on the computer and, and do a quick monthly club because I want to grab Maybe two more bars of fluffy blanket. I'll throw that in a club and 
maybe some of the other bring back my bar scents just have some stock and uh do that i don't know yet we'll see but it's definitely gonna get clubbed i like fuzzy blanket very very much there's a sweetness to it but we're talking about jamie time and here i am talking about fuzzy blanket i didn't warm fuzzy blanket well i did but i already went over that before anyway this is jammy time and I have a call coming and I can't answer it because my recording will stop. So I'm trying to figure out how I send it to voicemail. Anyway, I'm going to ignore it. Jammy time, very good. Jammy time's a great performer. Oh yeah. It is... There's a lavender in there, but it's not a harsh lavender. So it's pleasant because some lavenders can be like, oh, that's bad. You know, like they're very herbal and medicinal. This is not. It's good. So that's your jammy time. It's a nice clean. I don't know. They call it a jammy time. Like they can like be like a nighttime scent, but it more feels like um, a cleaning scent. Jammy time's a good one. Okay. That's all I have for Scentsy. And like I said, I promised, I said... The vendor wax, very, very small. I didn't do a lot because, again, I told you I'm curing it because I don't want to be disappointed. But I did break into some of the samples because I figured, like, the L3 samples, that wasn't a sampler pack that was offered, like, oh, um, because I bought the um, Lavender and Speckles Beach Nights. But that was, like, a pre-order thing. She had to make that. So that's going to sit a bit. But the L3 stuff, I believe has already been sitting a while so I thought let me let me you know go ahead and just try it so I did the apple streusel oh it was so good I did it in my kitchen obviously it was just a sample right and it smells just like apple streusel streusel or strudel streusel it was buttery. It was nice. Again, like Sensi, it doesn't last. I find this food stuff does not last. Okay, I did pink sugar crystals, beach nights, Egyptian cotton. And you know what? When did I do this? Because I don't really... Mm, that's pretty. That is pretty. So pretty. It's like, um, there's a sweetness in here. It's very sweet, almost like a marshmallowy sweet. The Egyptian cotton. This was beautiful. Um, I did this in my bathroom and it was lovely. So now, see, what I have to do is I have to keep these sample packs, and I have to, you know, maybe keep notes on them. Did I really like it? You know, if I ever see it come back, if I want to get it. I'm saving the one I really loved that I warmed out of L3 last. This one here is Leah's Donut Shop. This was good. I didn't feel this one was very strong, though. Um... And this is like uh, donuts and coffee. It was okay. I did coffee bean Palo Santo cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this was a scoopable wax. And I did this in my kitchen. This is like really good. This was like, it must be because of the Palo Santo in it. This was like black coffee. So it wasn't like coffee with cream in it. It was like black coffee. And I think the cupcakes at Tiffany's maybe sweetened it a little bit. This was good. It was really good. Um, got about the, the day. And I don't mean 24 hours. I just mean like the day that you're waking hours. This one from L3. 
Sugar Cookie Royale in Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. You guys, I decided to bring all my L3 samples. They remember, I, if you saw the video, it was like a bag of like 50 samples. And I thought, when am I going to warm these samples here? So I thought, hmm, I'm going to bring them all to work and use them in my office because I have a warmer in my office. And my office is a nice size for a sample because it gives me the opportunity to sit with it. And this one here is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. It's amazing. It starts out, you smell that sugar cookie royale, that bakery, right? Really just warm, that warm bakery sense, a comforting bakery. And then after about four hours, you get this, it almost picked up like a, a not, I don't want to say perfume. That's not the right word. But it, it did, it picked up that little bit of a perfume note. Like where it, be, it changed just ever so slightly. This scent is so good. I'm going to be, in fact, I already went on her website to see if she had it. Like, you know, because I want to buy it now. It's, it's amazing. Sugar Cookie Royale Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. L3. Excellent. Excellent. Ugh. Okay. Again, it lasted about a day. Um, I did notice toward the end of the day, when I was leaving work, so I work 7 to 3, and it was dying out. Um... So I'm not sure. I'm going to say it might have been a day. Now this one here. I nearly lost my mind. Now the reason I warmed it. Because I wasn't going to. But I was on the Facebook group page. And Pearl. The one who highly recommended this scent. If you're watching Pearl. I'm talking about you. She had posted. That. It was just amazing. And I had said to her, I said, you already warmed it? I said, because I'm waiting. Because I thought I'd wait for another couple weeks to let it cure. And she said hers was poured in 524 and thrown like a champ. And I thought, okay, I'm going to warm it. I'm going to give it a go. Because mine was also poured in 524. So it's been a month. This is second in spruce. And it is Sipping on Summer, volume two. And it is pink lemonade and ginger ale. This was a smell that I wanted to keep smelling. I kept walking back into the kitchen. Walk just because it smelled so good. So good. I, oh my God. I'm going to take it out of this, out of, I've been double bagging stuff as I get it, just because I want to make sure everything, you know, it's, I can smell it right now. Guys, you have to try Second and Spruce. Her scents are incredible. And this sipping on Summer is just, it was ginger ale and lemonade, and it just, you could smell the fizz in it. It made your mouth, it made my mouth water. I wanted to drink. I wanted to have some ginger ale. I wanted to, it is so darn good. I mean, good. It's, yeah. Second and Spruce, in this particular scent, was Sipping on Summer, Volume 2. And it's pink lemonade and ginger ale. And it was, it was like having, I don't know, a vat of ginger ale and lemon opened up in my kitchen. So good. And it was fizzy. How do they do that? How do you get fizz into a scent? 
where it actually smelled like it was fizzing. Like I felt like I could look at the warmers and they should be like, you know, the little bubbles, the effervescent bubbles should have been coming out of it. So good. So good. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I listened to you, Pearl, and went ahead and did it because that was incredible. Incredible. In fact, I posted my picture and I said, I need a pound of this. I want like tons of it. It is just, it's so good. It's so damn good. Anyway, so that's my warming, what I've been warming. Um, lots of hits and misses. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I got for right now. Um, if anything, I'm trying to think. I mean, I did. Oh, okay. Who bought anything from the Lilo and Stitch collection? I don't know what's gotten into me. I really don't. I feel like like I talk out of both sides of my mouth because just a month or so back, I said I'm not a Disney person, but I don't remember which warmer. I think it was the Tinkerbell warmer. I says, but I something possessed me to buy it because I'm not a Disney collector. I like Disney's fine. I'm not one of the fans. There's people out there who are true Disney fans, and it's not me. Disney's okay, you know. Um, yeah, so I bought the warmer. What? I don't know. I plan on doing something with this room. So when I do do it, which is going to be soon, like I have the stuff. I bought some cabinets I got to do. And um, like I said, I'm going to get the shelves for the wall. Have my boyfriend put those up so I can put all these animals out. Um, and I'm going to put my Disney warmers in here. Now I'm actually kind of regretting that I bought the castle and I gave it to my granddaughter. Oh, what kind of mean person, mean grandmother I am. I want it back. I won't take it back. It's in a room. It looks so pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, so I did do a, a little bit of shopping on that. And um, I did have, I did buy some more buddies from the Buddy Bonanza. You see him back there? You see any new ones? Yeah, they're back there. I just haven't done them yet. I'm going to kind of just do them when I get my next um, delivery. I'm going to throw it with that and kind of do it together. And uh, there's something else. I don't know. I guess that's it. I thought there was something else. I went, oh, all right, speaking of Disney, who's getting that 100th anniversary warmer? I'll tell you what. I'm going to be up at 3 a.m. I'm going to set my alarm for the first. I'm going to get up at 3 a.m. and I will be waiting in queue. I want that warmer. I got to have it. And I thought the price was really good. Considering the castle was $125, I think this is going to be $85 for that warmer. And it looks like it's really pretty, too. So, anyway, going to get that. So I have my grandson coming. I'm going to pick him up tomorrow evening after I have my hair appointment. And he's spending the weekend until Monday evening with me and my boyfriend. So I'm looking forward to that. Has anybody got any special plans for the holiday coming up? Um, that's about all I got going on there. And, uh, oh, just have to tell you the story real quick, really quick, because I'm so upset about it. I had a dentist appointment today. I had to go get my teeth cleaned. You know, I, mean, I go every six months to get my teeth cleaned. It's not like I've never had them cleaned before. Um, in fact, at one point, I used to go every three months to get my teeth cleaned because I wanted to make sure my gums were nice and healthy. I just stopped doing that because that got a little expensive. Anyway, so... In the dental office, it's you always get your same dental hygienist, right? Well, the one that was doing mine for quite a few years, she retired. And I'm going to kill my cat right now. Peanut, get out of there. Get out. Thank you. <sighs> anyway, she retired. So when I went six months ago, I had a different girl. 
and I'd never seen her there before, and it's a, it's a very small practice. It's not like a, you know, big practice where they have like 15 hygienists. It's not like that. And I thought, oh, I haven't seen her before. I still don't remember her name. And she's cleaning my teeth, and like I just remember this from the last time. I said, my God, I says, why are your hands are like practically, she, it felt like she had like three fingers, six fingers in my mouth, and it was just so chaotic. And I thought, what, what the hell's going on? I felt like she was rushing, and she was a little rough. Okay, well, whatever. And I have a client who's a, dental hygienist. I was telling her about it. I said, she's, so she was horrible. All right. So I go back today. I'm still, my gums are still throbbing. I go back today and honest to God, I swear to you, I feel like I was like attacked today. She hurt me so bad. She was just so rough. And she, them tools, she did digging. And she was getting my gums and nicking them. And I was like, and I had all this saliva in my mouth. And she wasn't suctioning it. And I'm choking. I threw my hands up. And I'm like, can I spit? Because she was, she was horrific. I mean, horrific. I'm, I'm, I have to keep telling people about it because I am just, I feel traumatized. I feel like she was like intentionally hurting me. And I'm like, what is going on here? You know, I'm not crazy. I'm not a baby. I've been getting my teeth cleaned forever. It was a nightmare. A freaking nightmare. My gums, they're still like, I can feel my heart beating them. They hurt. Anyway. I just need to share that story. Has anybody else ever had any of that other bad experience of the dentist? Like I have, I've never had an experience like that ever. Anyway, I wanted to share that because I'm really upset about it. And I think I'm going to call the office tomorrow and tell them about it. Because if she's treating anybody else like that, what the hell? I mean, it was unbelievable. I said to my boyfriend, I said, you know what? I felt like maybe somehow she knows me from somewhere and I pissed her off or something, and she just wanted to be aggressive in my mouth. She was aggressive, and it's not my imagination, because like I said, I, I'm the type of person, I go every six months like I'm supposed to, so I know what it's supposed to feel like when you get your teeth cleaned, and it shouldn't have felt like that. That was unbelievable. Anyway. Chris's rant for today because she's really upset and I had to just I wanted to share it with people because it was just a horrible experience anyway thanks for watching my video and I know I talk like a crazy person I'm all over the place today um yeah please comment like and subscribe appreciate everybody who's watched I love all of my comments and you guys are so kind and yeah I enjoy doing this. It's fun. It is. It's fun to just sit here and talk about wax with everybody. Okay. I'm going to get going now because my boyfriend has now since called twice and I haven't picked up the phone and I expect the cops at my door any minute. So I better go and call him back and tell him I was doing a video. Okay. I will talk to y'all real soon. If I, if it's not before the 4th, I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July with your family and friends and or not, whatever it is you do on the 4th, have a good time doing it. Okay, bye everybody. Have a nice night.